guys, but I just want to talk a little bit about brakes. I don't know if you guys know this, this 2010 uh, CSA, I think is what it's called, 2010 is coming up. And you guys need to understand how much of that is going to reflect back on the driver and it has to do with it. There's going to be more points to check, you know, driver awareness, fit for duty type stuff, especially mechanical and maintenance stuff. I'm not saying the driver's responsible for it monetarily wise or having to pay for anything. But they're going to write you up. They're going to, they're, they're going to put a. It's going to be a lot harsher going forward. They're putting a lot more of the onus on the driver to make sure they're, they're not leaving the yard or operating equipment should be operated with, uh, you know, with defense and stuff. So it's tires. It's a lot of different things. So I think I had Joel look at it. The percentage of our out of service stuff, or our, a lot of our write-ups. What was the percentage of brakes? percent. A little under 50, I think, was brake and suspension. Was, was for brakes. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but for hazards, sometimes during the year, the, federally they do a push. I think, I don't know if it lasts a week or whatever, but any, fed, any hazardous vehicle comes in, it's, it's basically a brake check at that point. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, so again, it, it's very, I would surmise, let's talk about automatic slacks. Probably the best thing that ever happened as far as brakes are concerned, but probably the worst thing that ever happened as far as the driver understanding how brakes work. Because when you say, well, it's automatically taking care of it, you forget about it. And then I think, you know, guys don't, if you don't see a driver sliding on the trailer anymore checking out brakes like they used to, they just don't do it. But, so I think uh, guys that work on their trailers a lot, I, I would guess Mike's one of them. I know Pat, right? No, you don't? Well, I don't know. Well, just, just who you work for. I, I yeah. know if you did your own brakes or not. I just, uh, put a sign in there, guy, grab one of those, grab one of those forms there. But, uh, most guys don't understand what's going on with the brakes and how it works. I think a lot of these out-of-service brakes are the brake problem we were having. Some were owner-operators, guys pulling our trailers, using our trailer brakes instead of their truck brakes, burning stuff up. But when you charge them for a complete brake job, they tend to stop doing that. So that, that, that's kind of what we had to do. Uh, okay, what, what's the rule of thumb on adjusting the brake? Anybody remember? I mean, when you run it down, and what do you do? Back it off the board. board. Back it off the quarter, and we did that. We did that the other day, and we'll see what it does. Now this is all. Yeah, that's tight, right? All the way down. So everybody said quarter of a turn, right? Where, where would a quarter of a turn be? Right there. A quarter of a turn, right? You say that's too tight, still? Yeah, yeah, way too tight. Well, what are you looking for when you when you do that? Now, see, more, I, I, I don't know how many people did this. When I used to work on trucks, this is how I always adjust the brakes with a tie crank. I'm 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 stroking. I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm uh, taking into account any wear and tear that may the bushes may be worn out, uh, wear and tear in the drum, uh, or whatever it may be. But that's how I did that. So. When, when, the, when you run them down that tight and you back it off the corner turn, it's very seldom enough to, to loosen it up. So we did this the other day in about a, another half. So about a half out, probably about right. That's about a half inch, and that's what you're looking for. Is, it, is the drum ringing yet? Well, so if you look, so it's a half. So, so what yeah, I'm saying, I don't know that there's really a rule of thumb to it. You just kind of have to get on there and stroke and you kind of find out what's going on. That was. I guess this angle on whatever angle your eyes on the truck, the right tight or left open? open. Well, it, it only it go one way. It'll only go one way. It'll oh, only yeah. let you tighten it. Then you got to back the spring off and back it off. So it's only going to allow as, you to tighten it. As, as the things tighten. Right. And, and again, I'm not telling you guys you have to do this. You, you may just need to get under there and release. Again, this is all metal. So the more you use it, it's going to wear. So that what, what I'm saying, you can back that off a half turn. It, it may not move any at all because when you're trying to do it, all your movement may be right here in this bushing because it's shot. And that's kind of what you what you have to do. The, the main thing, is, I'm just trying to get you guys to try to understand how this stuff works and why it's so important that every now and then you're going to have to get under there and look at it. Now, I had a couple of shoes laying out here. Did you still got those shoes, Russ? Yeah. Now, again, this, this drum's worn a little, but there's absolutely, if, if, if everything's released, you should be able to, if they're slopping this, you should be able to move that pretty easy. By your hand, by your hand. By your hand, you should be able to move it. Yeah. Uh, so all that stuff should be freed up. But again, th this is a perfect scenario. The drum's worn a bit, but these are new shoes and stuff. So th th this is this is. 
perfect set. If you get a brake hot, I mean, you guys all know when the brake gets hot, smoking or on fire, one of the two. If, if you get it that hot, more likely you're going to knock your seal out, and then you're going to have oil, and which should be which should be uh, fairly easy to see if you're if you're looking. But even that, you can see from from standing up, just looking under the trailer. One of the worst things that these used to have on them long ago, I don't think they still do it, was dust covers. And I I, I take them and throw them as far as I could. You got to get them off of there, so, so you can see what's going on. But if you've got this shoe, you can see here we're in the rivet, but you can see how thin that is. This one is probably, that that's, needs to be changed. I'm not sure, it probably got heated up, kind of glazed up a little bit. Uh, but you can look at this shoe, these are brand new. If you kind of look at that, it may look pretty thin. And the reason it does, because this drum has a groove in it. Sometimes you get a pretty deep groove. And if you're just looking at the thickness of the shoe, it may look something like this, but you still got plenty of meat. So you always have to take into account how, how, how worn the drum is. We try to get them off, but, and again, if you heat it up and you've been hot, once it cools off, you need to look at that seal to make sure you're not leaking any oil, because that's going to knock your brakes right out. Or you glazed up that shoe, and, and it's probably not going to work well. You may get some of that. When you hear, like, ah, there you go. Mine are yeah. bad. Exactly. So I, that, and that's probably what's happened. Now, the Bob, worst. Let me, I don't want to interrupt you, but now, the proper way of going down a hill, which a lot of drivers or half drivers don't like going down a hill that slow. When what? You it, so, what I'm trying to say is, you're not going to get to that level of burning if you drive proper, right? Burn. You're talking about improper driving, what? heating that thing up beyond what it's supposed to be. And, and what's a good way to start a fire? Fan them, you know, pumping your brake. You know, apply you're pressure most of the, the time. Gear, you should be down in another gear. Yeah, my dad drove, I, see, I never drove. I was a mechanic, never right. drove a truck. Very light metal. All Very light. Light. Hardly ever, yeah. when, I, when you go down the grapevine, you go down, I have to go down when I'm loaded, coming back with a load. Yeah. You go down, I have to go down, I have to go 30 miles an hour.